Eric Darling here with Darling Data. And uh, in today's video, we're going to answer ourselves an important question. And that is, how many threads can one query use? Now, the reason this is an important question is because everyone seems to have an incorrect mental model of uh, how parallelism works. Uh, whatever your DOP is for a query, it is always DOP plus one because you have degree of parallelism, number of threads, plus one coordinator thread. So there's always one extra in there. And if you're wondering why my finger looks a little funny, I have a Band-Aid because I, I accidentally stabbed myself uh, with a wine opener. It was, it was not a self-harm incident. Don't worry, you don't have to call the authorities. We're all good here mentally. <laughs> uh, so uh, everyone thinks that DOP controls uh, the number of uh, threads that a query can have, period, which isn't true. It does control the number of CPUs that can be active in any given time, plus one. Uh, but uh, really, a query can use, uh, can reserve, and then, you know, uh, by chance, use all the threads that it reserved or not, uh, way more than that. Uh, I've covered this, like, in passing in, in previous videos about uh, parallelism, but uh, it's where it gets interesting is uh, that it, it, the number of threads that a parallel query uh, can reserve up to a point uh, is dictated by the number of uh, parallel branches in a query that can execute concurrently. Uh, the, a parallel branch is dictated by the space in between one or more parallel exchanges. So distribute streams, repartition streams, and gather streams are the three that we have currently that are vi at least visible in query plans. There may be some additional invisible ones. And technically, repartition streams is two operators smushed into one, which just makes things odd and confusing. But I don't really, I don't really see the value in paying some intern another five bucks to make an additional operator for the input side of repartition streams and the output side of repartition streams, you can just smush them together. <laughs> nice and convenient, right? Make a little repartition stream sandwich. So uh, the query that we're going to look at today is spe specifically engineered to have many, many things happen in between many, many repartition, many, many repartition streams operators and a single gather streams operator. Uh, so we're going to take a look at that. But before we do that, we have some, we have to talk about you and me, me and you. If you like this channel and you feel like uh, donating as little as $4 a month to buying to my shoelace fund, uh, you can do that. There's a link for memberships in the description of the video. Uh, if, if four bucks a month is just too much for you, You've exhausted all of your bucks and bucks per month. Uh, I, I, I mean, you can only subscribe once, but you can like and comment many times. And the return on investment for uh, for subscribes is great because then you get to like and comment all the time, right? Which is real cool. If you need help with SQL Server, I do all this stuff at a reasonable rate. If you need something else done, uh, I can also do that at a reasonable rate. Ta-da! Cool. If you would like some low-cost, affordable training on SQL Server, I have over 24 hours of it. You could spend an entire day watching my videos. Uh, and you can get all of this training for about $150 USD for life. That is beginner, intermediate, and advanced. Uh, you buy it once and you always have it. Uh, you do not need to subscribe to this package. Uh, even though that was probably stupid of me, I probably should have made it a subscription thing. But yeah, you know, what can, what can you do? You make, them, you make some bad choices when you're young and you need the money. And then you end up here with hand and neck tattoos, yelling at a camera all day. Uh, if you would like to see me live and in person, uh, my next upcoming event is November 4th and 5th, where me and Kendra Little will be double teaming two action-packed, exciting days of uh, SQL Server performance tuning uh, stuff. We have lots of stuff. There's lots of things and lots of moving parts in there. Uh, so you can catch me there. If, if, if this, is, this is all that I have on the horizon. If there's an, if there's an event nearby you that you think uh, I would make a good pre-con speaker for, please let me know what it is. Uh, I'm happy to travel just about anywhere as long as I can defray some of the travel costs by putting some butts in seats and having a paid training day. So uh, if, you, if, if, if there's something nearby you and you're like, wow, Eric Darling should be there, uh, then, well, that's, that's the way to do it. So with that out of the way, let's go look at 
all this parallel stuff, right? So we're going to come over here, and I've created an index on the parent ID in the post parent ID column in the post table, and I'll explain why when we get to the query plan portion of the event. Um, actually, I should open up the query plan for this probably. Uh, is it under recent files? No, I have to go to uh, open and then file, and then it should be on the desktop. Don't look at my file names, you sneaky, sneaky goblins. So we're going to get that open. So what I've done is I've set up this query um, uh, that generates dynamic SQL that is going to give me a set of a number of joins, uh, up to 315 of them. All right, so if I run this, I will get this output, and I will have, at the, if you scroll down to the very end, you will see that there are indeed 315 joins, and that I've, I've added some hints to this. The reason I've added these hints to this is, uh, well, I, I want merge join, because hash join did not work for the demo. Um, hash join turned out real ugly and actually threw an optimizer error where it said we've run out of stack space. We cannot, we cannot make a query plan. Uh, nested loops joins in a parallel plan do not get the repartition streams that I want to bump, bump up the threads on this thing. Only merge join does. I've got a force order hint in there because I don't want the optimizer to spend a lot of time thinking about reordering these 315 joins. I just wanted to run the query in the order that they're written in. And I've got max dot three in there because I want to show you what happens to this query at dot three. And I want to show you that SQL Server takes a little bit more control over your dop than you might think. Uh, I've also got SP pressure detector queued up over here. And uh, what I want to show you up front is there's nothing running. Everything is fine. Everything's, everything's cool. But that we have 704 total threads. The reason we have 704 total threads is because I've got 16 CPUs in this, assigned to this VM. You could theoretically do something way worse with a query if you had way more CPUs to like, you know, do more joins with. 315 was just kind of a sweet spot limit for me where I could get that number of joins since SQL Server would actually give me a, like a, an actual parallel plan. What would happen when I did DOP higher than that is that SQL Server would actually downgrade the query to DOP1, which ruined my demo. So uh, the number of joins and the degree of parallelism both make this demo possible. Uh, and right now there's nothing else going on on the server. So uh, that out of the way, uh, let's come over here. And this is the query that I'm running, right? We've, you can see all 315 joins down here, right up to our hint at the end, right? So I'm going to run this. I'm not going to turn on query plans because we're not actually going to let this finish. But what I'm going to do is run SP pressure detector, and then I'm going to kill this off because we don't need this cracking anymore. And uh, what we're going to see is that this query has done so much damage. Oh, you know what? That's weird. I think I did not get this thing running to the point where there it is. Okay, that's what I wanted. See, we didn't have this running down here before. I think it was still, SQL Server was still maybe thinking up a query plan for that. So now we've got that in place. Now I can show you the, the specific output that I want from down below. But first, I want you to pay attention to two things. Well, two things up here. Uh, one is that uh, we have completely exhausted worker threads with a single query. We're at negative 646. Since this is a single query, we're not hitting thread pool. Right, Be because we're not like you know trying to get in and connect and do something new. This is all just within one request. But the number of threads that this thing has requested uh, has completely depleted the worker pool and then dropped it under by about 646. So this was at about so use threads were at about 82 before. So that was at about or 82 before. So now we're at about 1280 or so uh, for the number of worker threads that got cranked into this. <coughs> um, Actually, it's like the 1260 something. Uh, and the reserved worker count for this is 632. That's going to come in handy in a minute when we look at the query plan. Um, I've never actually let this query finish because um, it, I, I tried to let it finish once and it just did not, uh, did not go well. Right? So if we look down here, um, we've got a dop of two for this query and one, two, six, four uh, parallel workers. That 
uh, ties in pretty nicely with double this, right? So dot two is how many parallel workers we have for this query, uh, or two times 632 over there is 1264, at least, you know, again, I'm a high school dropout, this math stuff, I have to think about it a little bit before I say it. So be, be gentle with me. So we got 1264 uh, parallel workers down here. And but up here, there's a crazy number, right? There's 10,000 total active parallel queries. I don't know where I don't know where, um, where, uh, what do you call it, the resource governor DMV pulls gets that number from that's pretty wild. Um, I don't think I'm doing math wrong in there. But you know, again, I'm a high school dropout. I could I could be doing something wrong. So this is the sort of setup with this. We've completely exhausted worker threads with a single query, uh, doing a 315, doing 315 joins. We attempted DOP3, but it dropped us down to DOP2, right? Which is interesting. And um, if we come over here and look at the query plan, uh, and I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to zoom to fit and notice the, the perf perfection of this triangle, right? The, the, the utter perfection that is uh, the triangle starting from up here and coming down this way. I finally got the hand gesture right. It is this way, right? Well, I mean, it's a little bit of a weird angle, but you get the idea. Uh, I don't, I, again, being a high school dropout, I don't know what sort of uh, triangle this is. Um, I know that there's a fellow named Isosceles, and um, there was a guy named Pythagoras who had a lot of theorems. I don't know if any of those theorems involved triangles, though. It could have been strictly limited to octagons or dodecahedrons or whatever. But uh, you got me on that. So if you happen to know what kind of triangle this is, you can let me know in the YouTube comments. And then if I ever talk about this again, I'll sound a lot smarter. Or, or maybe I'll just stick with what I actually say and I'll just be funny about it. So if we zoom way in, what we're going to see for all of these joins <clears throat> is uh, a, a scan and then a repartition streams. And this is going to be true of the entire qu query. And if we zoom out again and we navigate up to, uh, let's just drag it around. Let's force the issue a little bit. <laughs> let's just zoom in over here. Uh, all of the only other um, parallel exchange in this plan is the final gather streams. So between each of those repartition streams and the gather streams, all of the, all those merge joins and the stream aggregate can happen concurrently. That's all within a single parallel branch. That's why we have 632 um, worker threads uh, assigned to this thing. And if we hover over this, we're going to take a moment to appreciate the majesty, majesty, not the magistry. I don't know what a magistry is. I don't think that's actually a word. So that was just a that was just me going off the rails a little bit. Oh, my tongue got in the way. Uh, but look at this, the majesty of this subtree cost. That is just wonderful. But if we um, go into the properties and we look at thread stat. Now, if we had an actual execution plan here, like an actual factual execution plan that for a completed query, and I've tried to let this thing complete, but it, it ran for like 48 hours and Lenovo started calling me about my laptop's extended warranty. I guess they're paying attention. Uh, <laughs> they're like, what the hell is this he doing? Um, not, that's not Bitcoin. <laughs> Get out of here. Uh, if, we, if this were an actual completed execution plan, we would not only see the number of branches, but we would see the number of reserve threads and the number of used threads within the query plan. Um, part of why this thing do doesn't finish might be the thread exhaustion stuff. Uh, again, I'm, I'm just, I just don't have the patience to <laughs> see this thing through. Um, if, if, if you have like, you know, cloud hardware that you're not paying for and you want to run this query and see how long it takes, go for it. I'm, I'm cool with you doing that. Uh, but 316 times two is, uh, I think the 632 threads that we saw, uh, from pressure detector that were, uh, you know, reserved. Uh, and so I think that that's pretty much what all that stuff <laughs> led up to there. Uh, and then if we multiply that by two, then we get the number of threads that, uh, that you got used on top of the 80 or so that were currently active. And that brings us up to about 1350. So like I said, SQL Server, when it starts up, figures out the number of worker threads you get based on the number of CPUs that you have. And... Um, <clears throat> When a parallel query runs, well, I think, I think I did talk about how we ran that query at DOP3 and it got downgraded to DOP2. That parallel query, depending on how many 
branches and that parallel plan can be con active at the same time or con concurrently, because we're in databases, so we say concurrently, uh, you, can, uh, ask, you can ask for DOP threads times that number of parallel branches. Now, when I first started doing this, and I was experimenting with the number of joins that it would take to get this to happen. Uh, if I went one join beyond 315, uh, SQL Server would show a parallel plan, but it would be a parallel plan that got downgraded to a DOP of one. So SQL Server wouldn't actually give me a parallel, like, a, like an actual executing parallel plan. It would say, hey, we came up with a parallel plan. But then SQL Server would also be like, hey, no. <laughs> so that happened both with the number of joins and with the degree of parallelism. It took a while to get the number of joins and the DOP sort of to an acceptable place there. Uh, I was also trying to come up with a scenario where uh, sort of like other thread pool demos where it was just like, you know, these two big queries fighting over stuff. But when as soon as I ran another copy of the 315 join one, uh, it would just immediately get like a like again the the parallel par the parallel plan would be what's visible, but down in the SP pressure detector results, it would show me a dop of uh, dop of one. And I just realized I'm standing in front of the dop stuff that I'm trying to point out to you, so we're gonna move that over a little bit, and you can see. <laughs> There we go. It's next to my head now. Uh, we can see the DOP of two and the, the 1,264 parallel threads. So that's fun right there. Uh, da, 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 da. Anyway, um, I hope no one notices that I was standing in front of the numbers that I cared about. But, uh, you know, we're not going to fix it in post. So I'm just going to hope you watch to the end of the video. So, uh... <laughs> Uh, should I really I should have put the results window up a little bit higher and then everything would have been much more clear to everybody so at any rate I hope you enjoyed yourselves I hope you learned something uh I hope that you will like and subscribe and comment and become a member and hire me to consult for you and 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 buy my training and come to my live events I hope that you will do all of those things otherwise uh these videos will stop so um that you have that to look forward to. Anyway, uh, I'm going to do some other stuff. Um, I'm not sure what. I've got some other things planned. You might be able to tell that from the, uh, the tabs that I have open here. I'm probably going to uh, re... I'm trying to continue with the series of videos that I started a little while back on uh, common query plan patterns because I left off with the, uh, the, the window aggregate stuff. And then some other fun stuff came up that I wanted to cover. And so I'm going to restart those videos with the, the tabs you see up there. And after that, who knows? Um, it's just it's whatever, whatever appeals to me at the moment. Uh, so anyway, once, a, once again, oh, dear Lord. My throat just strangled me. Uh, <laughs> thank you for watching.